Hi, and welcome back to my channel. There's been quite a few updates this week to Proton GE, especially around DivX async. Up until Proton GE 744, it was still supported, but from 745, it's been dropped as the broken async patch has been replaced with GPL or the Graphics Pipeline Library, which was implemented back in August 2022. Async has a bug where it can break your game shadow cache. I also read that async could introduce graphical bugs such as seeing through walls while shaders are being compiled, which could also be seen as hacking in, com in competitive games. I guess this started the rumor of people getting banned using it. I could never find any solid proof of this. I tested in Apex Legends and I can confirm that async does cause weird transparencies for me as seen in the following clip. I had quite a few benchmarks to see just what this change would have for people that were playing games known to suffer from stuttering during shader compilation, such as Apex Legends. I tested DX11 using Proton 744 with both async enabled and disabled. I also tested DX11 using Proton 747 with both GPL enabled and disabled, as well as DX12 using Proton 744 and 47. In the following graphs, you will see just what an impact both had reducing stuttering in a game like Apex Legends prior to the DX12 implementation. First we have both protons with no async or GPL implied and we see some FPS spikes and dips. Next we have async and GPL applied and async is giving higher FPS overall than GPL. Here we are running in DX12 and both protons perform similar. Although I would say Proton 747 looks to be a bit more stable with less FPS spikes and dips. Now we are looking at both async GPL compared to DX12. DX12 is the most stable and as previously seen, async is beating GPL. Lastly, we have all the benchmarks and here it clearly stands out how async, GPL and DX12 affects the FPS achieved in Apex Legends. Now moving on to the frame times, as we previously saw in the FPS benchmarks, both protons without async or GPL enabled suffer from frame time spikes and dips. We then look at when you apply async or GPL. Frame times are looking much better, async once again beating GPL. Moving on to DX12, we can see that similarly to the FPS benchmarks, Proton 747 looks more stable for the most part than 744. And like previously, if we compare async GPL to DX12, DX12 is more stable and as previously seen, async is beating GPL, also in frame times. In this graph, we are looking at all frame times, and just like the FPS benchmarks. DX12 or GPL is clearly the way to go in Apex Legends. You want a smooth gaming experience. However, as previously mentioned, async does have some drawbacks. When it comes to 1% lows, DX12 and async beach GPL as before, and no async or GPL performing the worst of the bunch. Looking at the 97th percentile, it's a familiar story as with the 1% lows, except here GPL and having no async or GPL is much closer to each other. When we look at the average FPS, DX12 and async is on equal footing, with no async and GPL being equal. This shows that the async and GPL is performing the job it was set out to perform, which is reduce stuttering. Then for our last comparison, 
GX12 and AC comes out on top as usual. No async or GPL, and GPL enabled are neck and neck, with the difference coming from the 1% lows being better on GPL enabled. So that wraps up my testing. I recommend using DX12 mode in Apex Legends and testing if GPL makes a difference for all the other DX11 games with touching problems. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.